All right, this is an impromptu recording, basically showing an experiment that I've been doing all morning here that's mostly successful. It's exposed a couple of bugs in the NOS that we need to deal with, but uh, I will save that for future content. All right, so what we have right here is a work disk that has a Mastodon client that's written in action. I have the action cartridge inserted, and this is going to boot up into DOS XL. Now, keep in mind that it doesn't matter which disk operating system you have, this is all the work of the end handler, and the end handler is doing all the heavy lifting. We'll go ahead and boot it. Give it a moment here to finish. So now we're inside of action here. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm gonna load a copy of the Mastodon client that I've written here off of drive one, just to get some code in here. And what I'm actually going to do, you're gonna see exactly what I'm working on here is the second here. So let's retrieve the file. Make sure my mouse is on here. Uh, and I'm gonna retrieve the file from the local disk image here that I have just running here. And you'll see that as of right now, it's referencing uh, the runtime package right here, which we really don't need. We can take this out to improve the compile times because I'm just gonna run it right here in the cartridge. We'll temporarily comment that out and we're gonna change the path for this guy right here to point directly to The library but it's sitting on a web server so include is literally going to take and load this library directly off the web server using the end device here so we can do this to make sure that we have the latest copy of, a, of the bindings that anyone can use they'll be up to date so we do that one change we take and compile and you'll see right here action is just like okay we'll uh, just compile it in like this then so there we go, it's compiled, and if we run it, you can see that it works just as expected. So what do you think, guys?